Hi everyone, Sal. Today we're going to talk about air in radiators. Uh, I've had a lot of people um, writing into me and uh, asking me questions about this problem because they're getting it all the time through the winter months, bleeding radiators time after time, and it seems to be getting you know locked badly and there's no way around it. Can we do anything about it? Um, now, as you know, you probably find one particular radiator that is bad, usually upstairs somewhere, and um, it's the one that is always needing bleeding, and it seems to apply to every house. Um, now, conventional systems will get it more than a combi boiler system, because really you sort of think of a combi boiler system with no open vent, you shouldn't get any air, but I'm afraid you still do, and it's just the way that a boiler works, it generates air in the way that it actually functions, you can't stop it. Um, so what, what can we do about it anyway? Is, is there any help for this situation? Um, let's have a look at a conventional system here. Um, I've got one on the computer there. There's a, a conventional system and uh, this is what a lot of people have got. It's not a combi system. It's got a little F and E tank in the loft. <coughs> okay, and there's our cold feed coming out, dropping down into the return of the boiler system. There's our flow, there's our return. And that's the correct way of doing this cold feed. Um, this is perfectly normal and it's probably as good as you're going to get as far as stopping air from entering a system. Um, so as far as it goes, uh, that is correct system. Now I'm going to move on to another one now. Um, now first of all, on the left here we have our combi system. And as you can see, I mean there's no tank, um, you know, it's all sealed. You shouldn't be getting air, but I'm afraid you still will get a bit that needs doing. Um, and that, that's just to show you a combi system there. We move to our right hand system. Now here's a system that's been uh, badly plumbed. Um, and this is the one that a lot of people have got and get a lot of air in their system because the cold feed is coming out of here, going down and going into our flow. And there's the pump. There's our two valves, motorised valves, and obviously it's going to draw air in from that tank. As that pump operates, it's going to draw air because there's the flow from our boiler going up. There's our pump pumping into the valves, and it's also sucking air down the vent. Look at that. The vent is actually teed into uh, our flow. I mean, that is completely wrong. And you're going to get air all the time. It's just going to keep on happening. So what can we do when I've got a bad assist badly plumbed system like that. Well, you know, there are things we can do. And now, here's a picture of an auto air valve. And one of the solutions sometimes is, is, is to drop, if you drop back on that system, would be possibly to put an auto air valve on a stalk up here to try and get rid of some of that trapped air. Um, you know, they, they're okay, they do work, they can do it. Um, but preferred is, 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 is something else, and this is an air separator. Now, one of these on the system uh, would probably definitely do it and make sure that you don't get very hardly any air at all, sorry, very little air. Um, and it's called an air separator. Again, you will need a plumber to put that in. Uh, they're not easy to do. You know, it's a, a case of you go back to our original system. Um, <clears throat> this would be, the air separator would be, that flow would come up into the air separator. The cold feed would actually drop into the air separator. Then it would go down into our pump and pump round uh, and it will stop. Uh, a lot of the air then. Um, so what, what can we actually do? They're the two items that, that are for air reduction um, and you got them plumbed in. I, you know, I wouldn't suggest trying to do them yourself. It is very uh, a difficult job. It's really a plumber's job. But there is something else we can do and I found these. I've got a video on this uh, and that's these things. Um, they're made by Aladdin and they're automatic air valves. Um, now if you've got radiators like this where you can take the air vent out, the conventional one, and screw one of these in, they're about £7.50 each, um, then it will bleed for you. You won't have to bleed the rad anymore. Now I know it's probably the wrong way around in the sense that you're still getting the air in the system, um, but all that's happening is that it's being bled out. Um, this saves you the, the dogma of keep trying to go around and do it. I've got a video on fitting one of these, so I'll give you the link there now. Um, and that's for getting, uh, for screwing one of these in, sorry, uh, and taking the conventional bleed valve out. Um, I've also put one in my towel rail because a lot of times it is the towel rail um, upstairs that um, is, is always the one that's uh, getting locked as well because it's usually higher up than the radiators. So that's my advice. Um, you know, there's no easy option. Air in a system is, is a continuing problem, but badly plumbed systems are often the cause of getting a lot more air than you should. Um, as I say, I recommend putting inhibitor in 
systems, you know, whatever you've got, combi or uh, an open vented system, put it in because it does help. Um, and uh, really, that's about it as far as you can do. They're your options, really, um, and it's up to you what you decide you want to do. If that air problem's driving you mad, <laughs> there's, there's your only answers, I'm afraid. Okay, uh, just a little one, that one from me, just to cover the air in Rad's problems. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching uh, all my videos. Of course, Derrick and Furley Free. Okay, bye bye.